Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast of England. I hope everybody is well and having a great day. As you can see, I don't know if you can see out the windows, but it's it's coming down, it's coming down. But I mustn't moan, I've had a good run. It's now, oh, it's quarter four. I've got one more garden left and I'm sat about I'm half a mile from the house having a little cup of tea and I'm deciding whether I'm going to try and do it or I'm just going to cut and run and go home and uh, I'll fit it in next week. you got to do that, haven't you? But the weather was horrific today, according to the weather forecast, and I've managed to get through every job apart from this last one. So you kind of grumble at that, can you? Today's video, I've been asked by more than one person. I've had loads of messages. Has somebody put a YouTube video out and I haven't seen it? I don't know. But the, the question is, and it's the same question, so I don't know if it's a coincidence or something in the media. I, I don't know. But the question is, if you only could use one mower, what would it be, Rob? It's a good question. Um, for me, it wouldn't be a, a rear roller, that's for sure. Uh, although they're brilliant and uh, they do look lovely when they're done. When it's like this, it just ruins lawns. I haven't used my rear roller yet this year. The ground's too wet. It makes too much of a mess. For me, it's got to be one lawnmower. And if you watch the channel, you know what it is. It's the Honda HRX 537. Why? Well, I tell you what. I'll cut off. I'll get it out. I'll let you have a look at it. And uh, I'll tell you a few reasons physically why then i'll come back and tell you why i love this mower however i am open to other options and i'll tell you what they are in a minute but we'll have a look at this uh, honda hrx 537 then i'll show you one of the best points i think about it um, and i don't know why other brands aren't doing it it just makes a huge difference i'll see you in a minute so here we have the Honda HRX 537 in all its glory after uh, just doing some work and for me it's absolutely breathtaking. There is the best engine on the market, the Honda 200cc uh, GCVX positives. That little bad boy there, that is the, ver the variable speed. It means that you can speed it up when you're mulching slow it down and do exactly what you want with it uh, another positive is this here the mulching blade the mulching variation where you just move it from part mulch full mulch can't tell you how brilliant that is there's loads of other positives but one of the negatives is these bad boys you have to adjust the height on every wheel setting quite annoying quite annoying and the other brilliant thing is the twin blade underneath uh, which cuts the grass as fine as you like so there it is the honda hrx 537 a lovely little bit of kit fantastic hello welcome back so you've seen the honda hrx 537 and you've seen the double blade under it when that mows and it bags, the grass clippings are almost, they're so fine. And you can see that sometimes if the conditions aren't perfect with a single blade, it, it just cuts, a, it just leaves a better finish. Um, the still, the RM650V, I think it is, I've got. Um, lovely mower, but the thick, chunky wheels leave a bit of track mark and um, it doesn't cut as well as that. You have to double cut it or you have to cut it shorter to get the same quality cut. Why is it that other mowers don't use the double blade? Um, or do they? And, and I didn't know about it. But I've had that mower. This is the fourth season with that mower. And it's never let me down. Touch wood, hope it doesn't. Um, and if I had to buy it again, I would in a heartbeat. However, um, it's probably if I get another season out of it, I'll be over the moon. And... Uh, that would be four good seasons where it's, I've grafted it. And then if the drive goes, because I'm told that the drive goes on the Honda HRX 537s, I would just give it a clean up, stick it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. You'll probably get three or four hundred quid for the engine and uh, the mower without the drive. And then I would buy another one, uh, another mower. What would I buy? But I'll come to that in a minute. 
But everybody has a journey, don't they? I started my journey with a 16-inch Honda Izzy push, and then the the um, it was my own lawnmower. I've had it for 20 years. I did it at the time, and then the, the the base just the deck just gave way. And then I bought a McCulloch 4x4, a little black and yellow one, 200 quid off eBay for a 21 inch, and it was great. But it burnt out after what, seven months. Um, but I got my money's worth out of it, and then I bought this bad boy. And uh, thus far, touch wood, it's gone great. But if it failed at the end of the season, what would I do? Well, I watch uh, Nathan from Lewis Garden Services. Um, in Wales and he likes the Atesia Atesia I hope that's the right pronunciation and there's one the 46 Pro it's 19 inch which I know isn't as big as a 21 inch obvious but it's got the Kawasaki engine and it picks up in the wet and uh, here it is you can you can work them you know into the ground um, and it's not that heavy it's only under 40 kilos so this year i'm going to saltex and i'm going to have a look at uh, mowers and i'm going to have a get my hands on them get because i tell you what's a bad part about lawnmower manufacturers they never get the weight right at mowers when they put them on websites they, they vary so different from one website to another and you never know who's telling the truth so for me it's all about getting your hands on them and, and having a look but uh, I like the mulching feature and that part mulch part bag just it's brilliant why is no other company gone for that I don't know but uh, if I had to have one lawnmower what would it be with the Honda HRX 537 I like it I've not tried every lawnmower but to me it just 21 inch self-propelled variable drive variable mulch the grass cutting heights, that's the only bad thing I don't like about it. The four, you've got to faff on with four different wheels. The single height adjustment is brilliant, but yeah. And it's not that great in the wet. However, if you wash the bag out every month and keep it nice and clean like you do your Dyson filters, you know what I mean? When you have a Dyson Hoover and your last says, Rob, the, the Hoover's not picking up anymore. I think we're doing a new one. You're going, I didn't think so, pet. So what you do is you get the filters out, you give it a good wash, dry it out on the radio, you put it back together the next day, you Hoover and it's sucking up the bloody carpet off the floor, and it? You say, there you go, that'll do for another year. Calm yourself down. So it's the same with the Honda bags, isn't it? When the when the filling, it's not filling the box very well. You give it a good scrub, get some hot soapy water inside and out, rinse it all out, bring it inside, yep. Yeah. Put it on a towel, your last shout to you because you're bringing the bloody grass box in the house. Get it dried out so it's as dry as a bone. Stick it back on the, the Honda and it improves the collection. But uh, it's not as good a collector as the still, but it's a better all-round mower. Question. If you had one mower, no other mower, what would it be? Don't tell me you hate a 48 Pro. I'll, I'll, I'll scream. I had one for a few months. It was awful. That's wrong. If the lawns were beautiful and flat and it was a lovely dry day, you don't get a better finish. You don't. It's even better than the Honda that I've got, the, the rear roller Honda. But it's a big, heavy lump of steel. And uh, unless it was perfect conditions, it wasn't. If that's the only mower you've got, you're going to struggle. That's my point. You need something which is uh, versatile, and the four-wheel rollers do that. I've never had a customer once say, "Will you put some stripes on it?" It's just us. And we just. Who was it? One YouTuber said the vanity mowers. It might have been Gary from Funky Duck Productions, one of my subscribers. I'm sure somebody said they're just vanity mowers. It's us. But they do look nice when you lay down a few stripes. However, you cannot lay them down when the ground's wet. It just turns it turfs you. Know, it just makes a right mess. But uh, anyway, that's enough from me today. Thanks very much for watching. So, if you had to buy one mower, what would it be? And what's the best mower out there on the market? Oh, another quick one. If you're just starting out and you didn't want to spend a lot of money and you want one mower, go and get yourself a 19-inch Honda Izzy self-propelled. Ian bought one, my pal. I laughed at it. I said, it's like a toy. I says it's, it's like something my daughter would use. But I've got to say, having used it a couple of times, the kind of little mowers will get you through year one, year two, 
until you say, I've had enough of this. I want a big boy mower. I want an Atesia. I want a John Deere. Or you want a Honda HRX 537, something like that. What's your favourite mower and why? Let me know in the comments. See you next time. All the best. Stay safe. And remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. It's growing at the morning, at the minute. We're all earning a few quid. However, the rain's starting to get annoying, but you've just got to smile and wave because it won't be last forever. It'll be summer before we know it. Take care. Watch what you're doing.